Today we're going to read Wacky Wednesday by Dr. Seuss and illustrated by George Booth. It all began with that shoe on the wall. A shoe on a wall? Shouldn't be there at all. Yep, there's definitely a shoe on the wall. How would it even stay there? Gravity pulls everything down to the ground. That is really wacky. Then I looked up and I said, oh man! And that's how Wacky Wednesday began. Now there are two shoes in the room. One brown one on the wall and a brown boot on the ceiling. Can you find anything else in the room that's wacky? If you look closely at the clock, there's no number 10. It goes 8, 9, and then another 9, and then 11. I looked out the window and I said, gee, more things were wacky, and I saw three. Take your time and look carefully. Have you found all three wacky things yet? If you follow the garden hose from the faucet, all of a sudden there's a piece missing, but water is still coming out of the sprinkler. That's the first one. The second one is the worm chasing the bird. That's not the way it goes. The bird is supposed to eat the worm. And have you found the last one? I'll give you a hint, it's yellow. That's right, there are bananas growing in the apple tree. We found all three. I went down the hall and I said, hey, three more things were wacky today. I'll give you a few seconds to look over the pictures carefully. Can you find the three wacky things in the house? In the hallway in the top row of picture frames, the last one is upside down. That's not how you're supposed to hang a picture. And around the corner, look at the table with the red roses on it. See anything strange? That's right, one of the legs of the table is a candy cane. And last but not least, the door to the right of the table has two doorknobs. I don't think I've seen that anywhere before. In the bathroom, more! In the bathroom, four! Let's see, starting on the left side, there is a fish in a jar of water. Fish do belong in water, but there's a stopper in the jar and fish need air too. Wearing a sock while showering? You aren't supposed to shower with socks on. On the right side, if you look closely at the sink, there's something a little wacky there. The right faucet is upside down, and oh my goodness, there's a palm tree growing out of the toilet. I began to dress, then I said, wow, four more things were wacky now. So the shoe on the wall was there before, and the turquoise boot on the ceiling I think was the brown boot from before. So let's see if we can find four more wacky things. Let's start with the clock since that was wrong last time. Do you see it? Now the number 10 is there, but the numbers are in the wrong order. The number 12 should be at the top of the clock, and the number 6 should be at the bottom. There are two more shoes in the room, a brown boot stuck to the bottom of her bed, and a gray boot on the ceiling. So that's three more wacky things. There should be one more. Ah, the chair! It's still standing on the floor properly, but there's a piece missing from one of the legs. Normally the chair would just fall right over. I looked in the kitchen. I said, bye cracky. Five more things are very wacky. Wow, five more things? I'll give you some time to find them all. Now let's see if you found them all. The white refrigerator is being held up by a bug. You must be very strong. There are six yellow mugs hanging under the kitchen cabinets, but the very last one is hanging in mid-air. On the stove, there is an umbrella cooking in the pot, and the table is set for five people, but instead of a plate, part of the table has been sawed out. And at the very bottom, we have a mouse chasing the cat. That's similar to the worm chasing the bird in the garden. It looks like things are going to get wackier. I was late for school. I started along, and I saw that six more things were wrong. Let's start looking for the wacky things 
with the first house on the left. See anything out of place? The stairs aren't under the door. But if you look at the next house, there isn't a door at all. I wonder if they have to climb out of the windows in order to get out. And there's something else strange with this house. Look at the chimney. There's a tree coming out of it. That is very silly. Hmm, what about the next house? Oh, the window is next to the house instead of part of the house. So far that was four wacky things. So there should be two more. Right outside the White House, there's a lady in a yellow dress. But instead of a baby in the carriage, it's a tiger. And the last wacky thing on this page is the red car driving by. The driver is in the back seat and the passenger is in the front seat. I've never seen a car with a steering wheel in the back before. And then seven more. Wow, seven wacky things. Let's start with the houses again. The house for sale is missing part of the house. There are hardly any walls and there's nothing inside it either. Look at the sun. What color is it supposed to be? That's right, it's supposed to be yellow, not green. Hmm, what else is wrong? Oh, in the street there is another shoe with a little yellow bird in it. Those shoes just end up everywhere, don't they? Look at this red car. There's a shoe instead of a hat on the driver's head, and the man in the back seat isn't sitting. He's carrying the car and walking because there are no back wheels. It doesn't look like there's a seat there either. Okay, so that's five wacky things. I think the last two will be harder to find. Look very carefully at the telephone poles. The one closest to you is still holding up the power lines, but the pole is missing. And the seventh wacky thing is the purple crosswalk sign. It's green where it says stop and it's red where it says go. That's backwards. Everyone knows that red means stop and green means go. And the Sutherland sisters, they looked wacky too. They said, nothing is wacky around here but you. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say to someone. I can clearly see that the middle sister is missing her legs, but her shoes are still there. And the first sister's neck is not attached to her body at all. Very strange indeed. I wonder if all these wacky things happen every Wednesday. But look, I yelled, eight things are wrong here at school. Nothing is wrong, they said. Don't be a fool. Let's find those eight wacky things. There's a shoe hanging from the tree and a turtle sitting at the very top of it. On the grass, there's another for sale sign, but it's spelt wrong. F-U-R spells fur, like on a dog. You're supposed to spell it F-O-R. In the school, there are two tigers in the class. I know that I never had tigers in my classroom. Okay, so far that's four mistakes. On the other side of the page, School is spelt wrong too. It's supposed to be written S-C-H-O-O-L. There's no U in school. And look, there's another shoe on top of the flag post. And speaking of the flag post, that's missing a part of it too. And somehow it still stands up. There's one more thing. Did you find it? That's right, the flag. The American flag has 13 red and white stripes on the larger section of the flag, and the small square is supposed to have 50 white stars against a blue background. We found them all, but they're getting harder to find. I ran into school. I yelled to Miss Bass, look, nine things are wacky right here in your class. All right, nine things. Let's get started. First. Miss Bass is wearing roller skates instead of shoes. And one of the legs of the desk is inside yet another shoe. Let's take a look at the alphabet. Maybe there's a letter missing. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, uh, Z doesn't come before Y. There's mistake number three. That means there must be six wacky things on the other page. 
Let's start at the very top of the page. This one might be a hard one. The picture on the wall is of President Abraham Lincoln, but underneath the picture, it says George Washington. Right below the picture, there's an old man sitting there. And in the same row, the first boy doesn't have a chair. And there's a girl standing on his head. He doesn't look too happy about that. In the next row, there's a boy sitting the wrong way. And last but not least, the last student doesn't even have a head. Wow, that's crazy. Nothing is wacky here in my class. Get out! You're the wacky one out! said Miss Bass. Even on this page, there's something wacky. The picture on the wall says George Washington, not George Washington. And that's not what George Washington looks like either. Miss Bass is now wearing normal shoes, but the telephone wire for her phone runs through the plant and ends in the mouse's mouth. I don't think she'll be getting any phone calls today. I went out the school door. Things were worse than before. I couldn't believe it. Ten wacky things more. Ten wacky things? I hope we can find them all. Let's start on the left side again. An alligator on a leash? Now that's very strange. And the flagpole has a shoe at the bottom of it. And let's look at the flag. It still isn't right. This time, the stripes are blue and white instead of red and white. And the blue square is red. There aren't even stars this time. And in the back, one of the buildings isn't even on the ground. So that's four wacky things. Let's look on the other side. Let's start with the giraffe sticking its head out of the sewer. He doesn't belong there. There's also a shoe on the hood of the long purple car. And there's something else here. The lady dressed in purple pushing the yellow baby carriage is walking on top of the car instead of the sidewalk. There's another shoe at the bottom of the tree. In the statue says George Washington, and I think they're right this time, but he's facing the wrong way. That's not how you ride a horse. And lastly, the man sitting on the bench to the right, his bench is in the water instead of on the grass. I'm glad I have your help to find all these wacky things. They keep getting harder. Then I counted 11. Oh boy, 11. Let's start looking. At the very top of the page on the left, there's a tree with a chimney in it. And there's another tree that's all yellow instead of green like the rest of them. There's another for sale sign, and you guessed it, it's spelt wrong too. F-O-U-R is how you spell the number four. So that's already three wacky things. There are a lot of women pushing baby carriages. Let's take a closer look at them. The woman dressed in red on the lawn is pushing a very tall tree in hers. And the woman in green has an alligator in hers. Towards the back of the line, the lady dressed in dark purple, there's a ski instead of a wheel on the front of her carriage. And the woman right next to her only has one wheel on her carriage. And look, the last woman in pink doesn't have any wheels on hers, but yet it's still floating in the air. So that was five mistakes, plus the other three we found. That equals eight. Now there are three more mistakes. There is a blue baby carriage way at the back, but if you look closely, there's an old man instead of a baby inside. And at the very top of the page, there's a shoe floating on top of the smoke coming out of the school chimneys. I don't even know how that can happen. And the 11th thing is the door to the school. One of the side doors is sideways instead of up and down. I wonder how'd you get out of that door. Then 12 worse things. I got scared and I ran. I ran and knocked over Patrolman McGann. Let's see. There's a really long baby carriage. There must be over 50 babies sitting in it. I'm pretty sure that's one. The cow behind it doesn't have a head. They are just two rear ends. The pig on the side of it has chicken legs instead of normal legs and hooves. And there's a door on the sidewalk. So far, that's four things. Let's look at the other baby carriages. The first carriage has four feet where the wheel should be, and the woman pushing it is on wheels. The next carriage is being pushed by a tiger. And the third carriage, the woman's shoes are walking behind her. 
the blue carriage is being pushed upside down. That's crazy. How does the baby even stay in there? And the last carriage is being pushed by the baby and the mom is sitting inside. Wow, that's 10 wacky things. So two more. There's a plane trying to land on the street instead of at an airport. And the road turns into a ramp where the cars jump over a river. I'm pretty sure that's not normal. And I'll tell you a secret, I found another wacky thing on this page, making it 13 wacky things. Can you find it? I'll give you a hint. It's on the left page. Did you find it? There's a window floating in the air next to the building. I think that definitely counts as wacky, don't you? I'm sorry, patrolman. That's all I could say. Don't be sorry, he smiled. It's that kind of day. But be glad, Wacky Wednesday will soon go away. Hey, someone else can see all the wacky things too. There are two wacky things on this page. Patrolman McGann is holding himself up on his hand, which is inside a shoe. And his patrol badge has a shoe on it too. Only 20 things more will be wacky, he said. Just find them and then you can go back to bed. Only 20 more things and then Wacky Wednesday will be over. Let's find them all. Oh my goodness, look at Patrolman McGann. He has three legs now instead of two. The man on the bench is sitting upside down with his head on the ground. There's a small bush behind him on a unicycle. The road in the back curves up into the sky. It certainly isn't a hill. And look, there are two suns in the sky. On the road, there's an airplane driving down it, and behind that, one of the houses in the back is up in the air. So far, that's seven. We still have 13 more wacky things to find. There's a pig with no legs this time. And by the pond, there's a fish out of water fishing a human out of the water. There are three houses stacked on top of each other. And in the back, there is a chimney and a car floating in the air. On the street, there's also a lady running with a baby carriage. She should definitely be on the sidewalk. Okay, so that was six more things. Seven plus six is 13. So there should be seven more wacky things left. There's a shoe with a bush growing out of it and part of one of the trees is missing. On the walkway, wait a second, the walkway is partly rolled up. That's definitely one. So on the walkway, there are more baby carriages. The woman in yellow is missing her head. The woman in blue is somehow pushing the carriage while sitting in a chair. The next one has three babies in the carriage and their feet are moving the carriage instead of the wheels, just like the Flintstones. And the last one has no carriage at all, but the wheels are there and the baby is floating in mid air. So let's see, did we find all 20? We sure did. Wacky Wednesday was gone when I counted them all. And I even got rid of that shoe on the wall. The end. Thank you for all your help counting all the wacky things. If you missed any, don't forget to go back and find them. I hope your Wednesdays are not too wacky, but at least you'll know what to do, right? Just count them all and then they'll all go away. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button or by clicking on the three kids and then click on subscribe. This way you can always find this channel and listen to more stories. Keep reading and until next time on Miss Sophie's Storytime.